Also tonight, we're following a Mother's Day homicide. A shooting has claimed the life of a man in Grand Rapids. Since 6 o'clock, family members have confirmed to 24 Hour News 8 that Jordan Brown was the 21-year-old victim killed early this morning. An emotional vigil just wrapped up as his family and friends grieve their loss. Police say they believe the shooting happened on Highland Street near Madison Avenue around 2.40 a.m. The victim died after someone took him to the hospital shortly thereafter. 24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring is covering this story. He spoke with the family of this victim a short time ago. Marvis. Leon, good evening. This is the area of Highland Street where police say that shooting happened. And just about an hour and a half ago, well over 100 people filled this entire block to remember 21-year-old Jordan Brown, a family man better known as Jay Bread. <laughs> Jordan Brown's personality would draw you in. Tonight, his impact on the people around him was clear. Dozens showed up in his honor. He was a funny, irritating, <laughs> kind guy, man. He, he got a number of love, man, for real. It didn't matter who you were. Even as some joked about his tendency to push your buttons, a wave of grief and emptiness was still there. He just took everything from me. As he was a mama's boy all day long. Big mama's boy. Like, and I'm just broken. I'm broken. I'm just broken. I'm just, it's to just feel like everything just got taken away from me. Oh, Mother's Day. Oh, Mother's Day. I, I seen it tearing her up, man, tearing her up, man. It was, it, it damaged her. It's kind of hurtful that he ain't in my life no more, but like, he's still in my heart no matter where I go. Okay. I love you, Jay Bram. Loved ones tonight clinging to memories and urging the community to speak up. Definitely a difficult time for that family. You can imagine the emotion that Yvette Brown is going through losing her son on Mother's Day. But even more troubling was what witnesses told me earlier today. Take a listen. Herberto Basulto spent his afternoon working on his car and his daughters, but that's not how his day began. It was continuously like bum, 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 bum. That's what he heard around 2.40 this morning, describing five gunshots outside his home. Others in the neighborhood tell me they heard as many as 15. First I hear the, sh the, the, the gunshots and then the guard took off. But it wasn't over. Basulto ran to his window, then downstairs. He says the man who pulled the trigger had returned. He took off and then he come back, I believe, to pick up the gun shells. Uh oh. So uh, he was standing over there. Then he took off again. You can see Grand Rapids police tagged these tire marks. Basulto says he hopes the gunman surrenders. With a 21-year-old daughter inside, this was too close to home. First thing that, that was my concern was to save my daughter. You never know a gun that can go through a window you know, and kill some of you guys. I mean, nobody wants to lose, you know, a son on Mother's Day. And tonight, there is no information as far as a suspect description, and we haven't heard any details from police about an arrest. As far as the family, they told me they just want answers. If you don't want to call police, we did speak with Jordan Brown's father, who says you can talk to family members if you don't want to be labeled as maybe a snitch in this. You can also call Silent Observer. We have all of that information right now. Just head over to woodtv.com. We're live in Grand Rapids. Marvis Herring, 24-Hour News 8.